But first, let's talk about what's hot now. Had a wonderful holiday weekend. It was flew right by. I it's like quick. so fast. Yeah. I feel like we're more Halloween today. Us three. Like, <laughs> the like holidays March. over, which means one thing: you start returning those gifts that you didn't want. You know, we all get these things we can't stand, and and the, it's a really question of etiquette. Do you tell the person that gave you the gift, "Hey, do you have the receipt? I'd like to exchange it. Don't give me that look." Uh. Do you <laughs> uh, re-gift it? Mm. Do you? Sell it on eBay? What oh. do you do? I mean, I, I, I love a re-gifting. I really do. do like, re if you're not using it, you know, recycle. But I'm do all you about tell recycling. them you recycle? No, 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 never tell them that. But, uh, you know, every year, the, the worst gift for me growing up, of course, was socks and underwear. But now, the older I get, the more I love socks and underwear for my parents. But now, my mom and my dad, they give me clothes every year. They don't really know my style still. They don't know my they size. Still don't it's still they extra you. large. It's all from Bass Pro Shops. That's where I get all my clothes <laughs> okay. from Bass Pro Shops. Yeah. Well, what's wrong with that? What is it? Well, I don't well they're just fit, oversized like, sweaters. <laughs> I can't yeah. see you as in the outdoors. In this looks like it'd be Bass Pro Shops. Maybe shop, a camo sweatshirt. I think uh, that would be kind of, I think that would be cool. A lot of camo. Yeah, so, you know, I, I don't tell her that I don't like these. Sorry, well, mom. You have. I know, now I'm told the whole world. Going back. Now, yeah. I was going to say, in the vein of underwear, my husband always gives me like lingerie, and I'm like, I wear sweats and a t shirt. Come on, ladies. Maybe Where's that's right. Maybe that's oh. Oh. I don't yeah. know. Maybe I'm Team Megan. I am on Team Megan. I wear sweats too and a t shirt. But okay. maybe that's why he's doing it. But he doesn't get my size right. So he gets uh, me a 34 C or D. I'm an A. Yeah, what is going on? A C, you're a voluptuous I am woman. Woman, uh, hear me yeah. roar. I am like, I think he thinks it's more, don't, yeah. You don't want breasts. <laughs> but that, okay, but he loves also, you. I don't know. But also, is. that's a gift for him. It's kind of like giving someone uh, something for the kitchen so they, they cook they something for yeah, you. Yeah, like, here's a yeah. pot and pan well, so you can fix me is, something. My yeah. grandmother used to give me, up until I was 18 years old, she would give me a Barbie doll up until 18. And after like 11, Barbie. you're like, I'm done with Barbie. Give me something <laughs> that I need. It's collectible. Yeah. No, it's not collectible. I'm not a kid. I'm not playing with her. Get me some bras and panties. Also, okay, I want the bras and panties. My husband, I will re <laughs> oh, wait. I will re gift them. Yeah. I am re gifting my bras and panties to you. I can't wear your stuff, girl. <laughs> By the way, there's a really easy solution what to all it? of the unwanted what? gifts. Just give a gift receipt, and then everybody ends up happy. You do that, don't you? Yes. And the only reason I do it is because I'm kind of a serial returner. So I feel like if I give you a gift receipt, maybe the next time you give me a gift, You'll give I'll me get a gift receipt uh, too. Okay. Yes. I forget. I like. Can this is my advice for because I love can I love wine. Do you want to woo oh. me? I love <laughs> wine. Yeah. We knew that. <laughs> and it can be cheap too. I don't care. And I love <laughs> candles. But if you give someone a candle, unless you know the scent they like. Mm -hmm. Just get it unscented because the worst thing is to get a candle then you can't stand the smell. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so just putting it out there. Re -gifting. Re -gift. Re -gift. Re -gift. Is that why we all got candles this year? <laughs> <laughs> all right, switching gears. This is really switching gears. You all remember the awkwardness of having to change for gym class when you're growing up. Some people are very self-conscious. It can be especially hard for kids who are bullied or picked on. Well, in a recent XO Jane essay, a woman writes that gym class bullying ultimately led to her dropping out of school altogether, and she firmly believes that mandatory physical ed should be abolished. She's all for recess which is actually a lot of elementary schools are getting rid of the recess. She mm -hmm. thinks recess is great, but this force fit ed is not right for a lot of kids. What do you guys think? Well, I, I developed think. I developed very early, so I had breasts before everybody else, and I didn't I wanted to go away because I wanted to keep them to myself. You know, I want them in my business like that. <laughs> So uh, we had stalls installed for people who wanted uh, privacy things. Um, I think it's something you might get out and of. People make like, fun of you for that. You no, know, yeah. I didn't. I, no one made well, fun of me. I think in junior high, like... especially, I think this is where bullying starts for a lot of, especially yeah. guys, is in the locker room, going through the change. I remember when I was in junior high, you know, you would have to, you know, get changed what for change PE. What are you going through? Uh, the change. The change. No, no the, you know, the change. Oh, wait, I I that, I'm sorry. You I thought that was such puberty. a female thing. Puberty. 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 The change. Yeah. Not the change. Not the change. Right. That's right. a woman's change that comes much later in life. <laughs> we have a change too, okay, ladies. No, okay. but I, I don't remember, think of it as a change. I remember they go being from soprano in, uh, to alto okay. and then tenor. I became a bass in eighth grade, but I remember, <laughs> I remember, you know, going to pee, and I was so embarrassed because, you know, I had like hairy legs, but. I had blonde underarm hair, and I and I was so afraid that people wouldn't think I had underarm hair and hadn't hit puberty yet because people were going to uh. see that it was just too blonde. And I was so nervous to go to PE class. Why did you just diet? Diet, diet. At 13. <laughs> I wasn't thinking that in junior high. No, but this Not in 
in Mississippi. I don't, in my, you know, we all have our own, everybody probably has a horror story from gym class. I was an overweight kid, a very overweight kid, and I remember going in and changing. It wasn't the gym class that's the problem, like we say, it's the changing it's room. Gym, but yeah, yeah. And it, but it's sort of, uh, you Locker know, room. I, I don't know, the solution is only would be like going in a stall or anything, but I just remember you, I just remember the smell of the gym class right now. I can visualize going down the hall. I knew where my locker was and just stripping down clothes. It was so embarrassing. But like she, her answer, though, is not eliminating gym class altogether. I don't think that's the right move. Right. I think well, it's just coming with alter. Wear what you have on. Wear what you have on. Why not they that? Stink they you're stinky in your clothes you get, all day. Kids are stinky in general. Don't you guys all have kids? I mean, my kids are stinky. In junior high, kids pick on you for. I remember, you know, being picked up. Like if you smell, you know, a lot of kids don't start using deodorant right. until later. That's it's like, the other oh, thing. It's just yeah. one thing on top of another. Yeah. It just does Acne, like hard age. Glasses, exactly. braces. Yeah. Exactly. Like we all go through the awkward phase. Remember what happened to Carrie when she was picked on oh. in a gym? That's oh, all. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. Was not well. All right, let's move on. When you break up with someone, not that I hope you do, but what do you do with all the stuff that they gave you? There's this new website that is giving you a way to make money off the mementos that are too painful to hold on to. The site is called Never Liked It Anyway. It's like the eBay for breakups. Yamanika, would you sell anything on that site? Are you the type that when you break up with someone, you dump everything? No, I keep it all because I never know when I'm gonna go broke and I need to sell it. <laughs> um, <laughs> when it really appreciates of something that's really valuable. First of all, if somebody gives you something from the kindness of their heart or from love and you turn out breaking up, I don't want your bad luck charm. Keep your mojo and stuff over there. I'll get some new stuff. So you wouldn't buy I think it has bad side. energy, yeah. like oh, an engagement. I, 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 I would buy and yes. sell. And I, I, I sold to a pawn shop. There was no website like this when I broke up with my boyfriend in high school, but he had, really, he had really bad taste in jewelry. And it wasn't like expensive jewelry or anything. And I sold it all at a pawn shop and I netted out like $250, which was more the, worth more than the entire Wow. Relationship. So yeah, I would and I would totally buy stuff on there. If you're looking for like a deal on a ring or something, I mean, oh, why not? That's such what? bad vibe to yeah. it. But I think that no, because well, if it comes to the new owner, it's not energy. I don't believe oh, that energy is transferred like really? that. A diamond is a diamond is a diamond, and a cheap diamond, I'm all over it. Yeah. <laughs> are, they, are, they, are they selling their ticket stubs too from all the movies they saw? I don't know. I think do, valuable. Do you keep old love letters? Oh yes. 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 Have you ever gone back and read them when you're having like a yeah. day? Yeah. Anyone? Yes. <laughs> no. Uh, a glass of wine. Do, 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 does your guy know that you keep them? He, here, the only thing, he knows that I, I have love letters and mementos. He doesn't think we, I should hang on to him, but that's just me. And I said, if something happens to me, I want my daughters to find all my stuff. It's sort of like the notebook. I want them to know their mom had a yeah. rich life. Yeah. yeah. I think I didn't. But he, love. It was in love. And love, you love many times over in life. But you know, love letters back in the day were a lot more innocent than some of these love letters now. You don't want them to see what mommy was not really not Well, mommy. <laughs> now, now you just sext people. Nobody yeah, actually I'm writes like that. beautiful There's love letters to anyone now. anymore. Yeah. Nobody uses but, calligraphy pens anymore. No. Get back oh to calligraphy pens. <laughs> 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 yeah, my, my box is hidden. Well, see, I, I have a memory. I'm such a girl. I really am. I have a memory box. I've had a memory box since. I, yeah, I do. Yeah, I'm, what's I'm the cover such look a girl. like? What's the cover? Uh, it's like actually. Decorated? I've now moved it to a different memory box. My my old assistant giggles. I talk about it all the time. Uh, she she made a birthday box for me for all our old pictures together. So I use that, and every time I go to a movie, that type of stuff, I put stuff in the memory box. Yeah. I haven't seen it in years, but one day I want to organize it and go down memory lane. That looks Aww. like you have one. Yeah. I do. I do. I mean, from all like the years of my working in this field, you know, news. I have saved clippings and stuff and things with my kids and all that thing. And love letters. I was going to say love letters. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. It's, just, it's part of who you are. It's so beautiful, I think. Yeah. And if someone finds it when we're gone and like whoever our kids read it, it's a nice memory. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Sweet. Yeah, exactly. We're all for sweetness yeah. here.